What's up, everybody? I uh, got a little something to share with you guys. I went to a, uh, a store today called Five Below. It's kind of like a dollar store, but at this place, everything's $5 and less. And when you up the price like that, then you get a little more of a selection of fairly cool deals. For instance, they have $5 Blu-rays there, and uh, a couple of the titles are Planet Terror, Death Proof, Hellboy 2. I thought that was pretty cool for 5 bucks On Blu-ray? Sure. Uh, I didn't grab any, um, but I will. I most definitely will. One thing I found there, and I had heard of these before because... Uh, I was doing a little research on on a certain uh, product. I was looking up uh, Jelly Belly Jelly Beans. I always mix that up. I would say Jelly Belly Belly Jeans. Every time. Jelly Belly Jelly Beans. I was looking that up because I had heard of this thing called uh, Belly Flops. Basically, these are the irregulars they they're not shaped quite right they don't have that bean shape that the jelly bellies have they're either circular or flat or maybe there's two of them stuck together um sometimes the color and the flavor don't match uh but they're still very tasty and so on and so forth and i was like okay let me see i had heard about these i want to see how much they are and in doing so i found a product that they make that jelly belly makes called Bean Boozled and I found that my lighting is all jacked up here oh, a little bright but here you go Bean Boozled and what this is is if you're familiar with the Jelly Belly flavors um, and the colors what this is is they have one color but with two flavors for each color and one flavor is your legit jelly belly flavor and the other flavor is really rank it's supposed to be something really atrocious um i'm gonna run down for you the color try to i'll try to do the color here here's the little chart in the back here so I'm going to run down the colors and then tell you what the flavors are. I have thought long and hard about how to do this. I was trying to think of different ways that I could do this. What I'm doing here is called, what I call, Bean Boozled Roulette. And I was trying to think of the right way to do this. At first I thought I was just going to put them all in a bag, shake it up, reach in, pull one out, throw it in my mouth, chew it up, and... It was either going to be good or bad. And I would have to guess what it was and kind of, you know, that kind of stuff. Then I thought, wait a minute. If I'm going to do a roulette kind of thing, then maybe I should just reach in and grab one, let you see what it is, and then it's either going to be a bad one or a good one. Throw it in my mouth. If it's a good one, go to the next one. And, and do that until I hit a bad one. Kind of like, you know, empty chamber, empty chamber, empty chamber, bang! Okay, so that's what this is now. So that's how I'm going to do it. Bean Boozled Roulette. And these are the flavors I'm dealing with here. Black. It's licorice or skunk spray. Um, white with yellow speckles could be buttered popcorn, which is actually my favorite Jelly Belly flavor. I love those things. They are so tasty. It could be buttered popcorn or it could be rotten egg. Now, when I think rotten egg, I, I feel it right here. I want to gag already. In fact, this challenge comes equipped with a ready-made bag because I don't know how I'm going to handle this. I have tried the Birdie Bots. Every flavor bean, I've tried those. There's one flavor in there that gets me every time. It's a sardine. That one makes me just, ugh. Can't even think about it. Next up, you have the brown one, and that's either chocolate pudding, mmm, 
or it's canned dog food. Ugh. Uh, the green one with little speckles is either juicy pear. Mm-hmm. Or booger. I'd like to know who they hired to... So does this taste like a booger? No, not yet. Be right back. I wonder who they hired to taste these things and go, oh, yeah, that's definitely... That's definitely booger. Um, okay, going on. The white one is coconut or baby wipes. Figure that one have kind of like a weird kind of baby powder kind of taste to it. Probably wouldn't be that that atrocious, but not real pleasant either. Uh, moving on, we've got a uh, yellow one with brown speckles on it, which could either be top banana, banana flavored jelly beans are pretty good actually, or it could be pencil shavings. Now again, this is probably one of those ones that's like, eh, but not so terrible. I like skunk spray or rotten egg. Um, the blue one, it's a blue one, it could be berry blue, or it could be toothpaste. Once again, you use toothpaste, mint flavored toothpaste, and I'm imagining that's what this is going to taste like. So it's not going to be horrible, but the thought of eating toothpaste doesn't set too well with me either, so it's kind of like, eh. Pray for the berry, I guess. Um... An orange one with red speckles could be peach, or it could be barf. Now that one, ooh, ooh. Uh, there's a uh, kind of an off-white one with little brown speckles. There could be caramel corn. I've never had a caramel corn jelly bean before. Looking forward to it, I hope. And the other one is moldy cheese. Ugh. And this last one just confuses me. This, not confuses me, but it really makes me wonder. Because it's a red one. And it could taste like strawberry jam. Strawberry jam. Not bad. Or, according to this, centipede. How in the hell did they find out what a centipede tastes like? I don't know. But somebody was earning their money that day. And I noticed on here that it says second edition, so I wonder what the first edition had in it. Anybody know? Okay, this light's getting on my nerves now. Sorry, sorry I'm shaking this all over the place, everybody. Forgive. Okay, I guess it's stuck there. I, I don't know. And I don't want to just, if I hit a bad one right away, I don't just want to end it right there. So let's say we go five rounds. And the highest number counts. The highest number is what counts. How's that sound? This is going to be my challenge to everybody out there. Find yourself a box of these. You can get them online or search around your local stores, probably your Spencers or something like that would probably carry something like, like these. Um, get yourself a box of them and do exactly what I do. Five rounds, you eat them till you hit a bad one. And the highest number is the number you count. Like if you go three times and then the fourth time is when you hit a bad one, you count, I guess, four turns. I went four times before I hit a bad one. So here we go. And I'm hoping that I don't really smell them. I hope they don't have a, a scent to them that gives it away, because that that would just be. Yeah. But I'm. But the thing, the key is, don't look. You can't look at the one you're picking, because I don't know. I I think a lot of people would be like, oh, I don't want to eat skunk or or even licorice. A lot of people don't like licorice. I don't want to eat those, so I'm going to avoid those at all costs. You can't do that. You gotta grab whatever you get, and whatever you get, that's what you that's what you gotta eat. So I'm putting my finger in here, kind of mixing them around a little bit, reaching down deep, grabbing one, and here it is. It is a white one. And that one could either be coconut or baby wipes. Ha! 
coconut. See how that works? Ooh, that's one. Okay. Oh, another rule. You got to eat it. Even if it's a bad one, you got to eat the whole thing. This is taking a little while to chew, so I don't know. If I hit a bad one, man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to really be like in a world of hurt. So in the world of Russian roulette, that would have been a blank. Click. Okay. See what I'm saying? I'm going to go mix it around, mix it around. Not looking. And let me grab. Come on, grab one. A green with little speckles. And that is, could be a booger or it could be juicy pear. Okay, I know what the juicy pear tastes like, so if it doesn't taste like juicy pear, I've officially eaten a booger. <laughs> uh, here we go. Uh, I lose. <sighs> yeah. No, oh, that's fucking gross, man. Ugh. Oh, God. Oh, it's getting salty. Ah, oh, it's getting salty. Ooh. Oh. Oh, that was rough going down. Ah. Okay, so round one is over. I took two turns, and I hit the bad one in the second one. So right now, my, my best number is two. Ooh, that's salty. It wouldn't be so atrocious if I didn't know they were trying to taste like a booger. Okay, round two. Come on. Ah, oh, shit, another white one. Remember, coconut or baby wipes. Round two is over. This, oh, uh, uh, God. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, it's like eating baby lotion. Oh, uh, you ever get, like, someone's hair in their, in your mouth after they spray shit in it? That's what this tastes like. Oh, that's deep, man. That, that is, ugh. It doesn't taste like nasty, nasty, uh, it, but it tastes like perfume and baby skincare shit. Round two is done. Only got one there. So my best number is still two. Shake, shake, shake it up. Shake, shake, shake. That's a little shout out for. Our good buddy, Freddy Osar. We miss you, girl. Make a video. You and the Bem Bunkers. Okay. Ah. What's this? Okay. I think it's either tap banana or pencil shavings. This is round three. I can still taste the baby wipes. God damn it. Yeah, that's pencil shavings. Yeah. It's not terrible. But it tastes like pencil lead. The graphite. Ew. I'm kind of hoping for a black one. So, so far, my, my best number is still two. And this is round four we're coming on now, so. Oh, I dropped one. No, I, I, I did, this is a white one. I'm not doing another white one. You guys didn't tune in to see me do two baby wipes. That's, ugh. 
Okay. This one is either caramel corn or moldy cheese. Please be caramel corn. Yes. Caramel corn. Mmm. That's good. That's one. Round four? Yes, yeah, round four. I can't remember to keep this in the camera so you know I'm not looking in there. Ah, oh no. <laughs> this is either buttered popcorn or rotten egg. I just had a delicious caramel corn flavored jelly bean. And I may be chasing it with a rotten egg flavored jelly bean. And I don't know how intense the rotten egg is going to be. So you may be privy to some unpleasantness here. There it goes. And remember, the rule is I gotta eat it, regardless of what it is. I gotta go down the gullet. If I swallow it whole and choke on it, whatever, it's gotta go down. So here it comes. Uh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, I can still taste it. Uh, it's like scrambled eggs with like a, a backdraft to just turn nastiness. Just, oh. oh, man. That's wrong, man. That is, I can still taste it. I can still taste that bitch. You know what? I got gum too, because after this, I'm gonna definitely see it. Five gum. I'm gonna be chewing on a lot of that. So I'm tied with uh, round one and round four at two. So I looked in there, but I'm not gonna pick like that. This is round five. What's this? Oh, it's the peach. Oh, it could be peach or it could be barf. Let's let's just hope it doesn't taste. Cause I know it. I think everybody out there knows what barf tastes like. Cause you've you've thrown up before, I'm sure. That acidic, nasty, kind of wretched stomach bile flavor. I hope that's not what this is. The rotten egg almost did me in. Oh, crap. And I burp it up and I can taste it. Come on. I want to make sure this is what it's supposed to be. Yeah, yeah, that's a peach. Salud. Oh, this is, this is round five. This is the first one. Peach. Hot damn. Mmm. Peachy. Mmm. <laughs> Uh-oh. Dun, dun, dun. A black one. And we all know what this is. It's either licorice or skunk. So far, I've been running, my highest number is two, so every time I get a good one, the next one I eat is usually bad. And you ever smell a skunk when you're driving down the road, windows open, you're like, oh, close the windows. 
And that's probably what I'm going to be experiencing here. See if I can break two, huh? One, two, three, go. Oh, God damn. Uh. Ooh. Mm -mm. I didn't beat it. Oh, God. It, it, it's not as, ugh. Oh, no. It's not as terrible as I thought it was going to be. It just caught me way off guard. Just the, over, ugh, the overall flavor of it. It tastes like a bunch of burnt matches, basically. A lot of sulfur. That, just that, ugh. But that first initial hit, it made me gag a little bit because it, it tastes like skunk. So, out of those five rounds, my best number is two. How about if I just keep going? Now, you know what? I'll do a second video. And that one, we'll just go through this whole box. We'll try all the colors. Sound good? Meanwhile, get yourself a box of these and try to beat that. Two. Two is my best. So, I issue the challenge. Thanks for watching.